Hello, I will talk about the cue box and why it is important that you have at least two cue balls. Very important. Because if you only have one cue ball, look how it becomes. It becomes like this after an entire day and the object ball, it doesn't get that dirty. So why would you clean the, the object balls as often as the cue ball? You need to clean the cue ball more often. So that's why what, what I do is I, in the morning, I clean all the balls, all the balls and the cue balls, I clean them twice, two in a row. So I put the ball numbers one, two, six in the machine, plus two cue balls, okay? And then I, I keep the cue balls where they are and I take out the one to six balls from the machine and put them on the table. And then I put seven to 10. Those balls I put back in the machine and I clean them. And so the cue balls stay in the machine and get cleaned again. So you clean them twice. And then I take out all the balls, but I keep the cue ball, one cue ball I keep in the machine for later. And then I play. And then after half the time, half the time, I switch, I remove the dirty cue ball from the table and I put the clean cue ball on the table. So after half the time, I switch into a clean cue ball and then I continue playing. So after the entire day, uh, I am finished. So I have used, uh, I have played half, half of the time with that cue ball and the other half with that cue ball. Yes. And then I have, I have spread out the, the risks. I have reduced the risk in half of getting a kick. A kick is when you hit the, the ball and the ball doesn't go where, where it should because of dirt, dirt between the balls. And it, it, it is because of the cue ball. The cue ball has dirt and then the, the ball, if the ball should go this, it goes like that. Sometimes it even jumps up like, like that. When you contact, oops. It jumps like that because of a kick, because of dirt on the cue ball. And that is what you want to avoid. So look in the microscope. I looked in the microscope and I saw, I saw horror. Look at how dirty the cue ball becomes after only one day. And look at the clean cue ball. You see how pretty it looks, very clean. Uh, and the dirty cue ball, is, forget about that. You, you don't want to use that in your game. You don't want that. It looks nasty. You want a clean cue ball, clean cue ball in the game. You want to play with a clean cue ball. That is important. And after you do that, uh, after you switch into a clean cue ball from a dirty cue ball, you will notice differences, of course. You will get, uh, you can't use uh, that, mu that much uh, spin because you will get a miscue. So you will, you will notice you get a lot of miscues after you switch to a clean cue ball. So you need to use about 90% of the spin you used on the dirty cue ball. But you will also draw it uh, further, even if you use less spin. Isn't that great? It is because it, uh, uh, the dirt doesn't slow down the spin. And also, if you hit the rail, it will slow down here because it, it, it is slippery. The cue ball is slippery when it is clean, so it will slow down on the rail, but it will draw faster back because, uh, yeah. So uh, I recommend you use many cue balls if you, if you can afford. You want to use as many cue balls as you can. Maybe a hundred cue balls if you can afford it. So you replace the cue ball after every game. So you play a game, you rack the balls, replace the cue ball with a fresh cue ball and put it on the table. That is what I would recommend you do if you have the money. So you, you buy a hundred, hundred cue balls. And then you play a hundred games and after you are completed, you clean all the object balls. Okay? That is what I recommend. But I can't afford many cue balls, so I use only two cue balls. Two, two is 
twice as good as uh, one cue ball. If you have, uh, uh, for the next step, if you want twice as good again, you need to four cue balls and then eight cue balls, and it becomes too expensive to buy. I can't afford it. I, I would love to have many cue balls. So if you want to donate donate money to me so I can buy more, more cue balls, that would be great. So check out my Patreon, the link is below. If I maybe if I get enough money there, I can buy more cue balls. Okay. So that's the end of my video. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.